Alright, so welcome guys to my Bard Guide. Now, um, basically, what Bard is, is he's a very fun and lovable champion. He gains movement speed and max mana from collecting chimes. The more chimes he collects, the more upgrades he has to his meeps. His meeps, you can consider them like... Uh, Graves' new passive is a new destiny or whatever, and it forces him to reload or whatever because he has two shotgun shells and like a 12 gauge or something like that. But you gotta think, you gotta think about the meat as the same way as you think about the Graves' bullet. Yeah, they recharge, but they don't, they don't respawn as fast. But they have additional properties to them. That's what I mean. They can apply a slow, deal more damage, respawn faster, and that's about it. Oh, uh, see, because meeps have four upgrades. They have damage, Increase AoE, slow, and uh, respawn rate. Now the respawn rate doesn't affect the meat, that doesn't give the meat more damage or whatever, it just means you'll have more meats following you at once. Which is a pretty good thing. Now, to get onto what the Q does. The Q naturally is a base slow, but if it hits two targets, it turns into a stun. Be careful though, because it literally will only hit two things. So if you shoot 20 minions, right, if you try and shoot 20 minions, the thing's not uh, Echo's Q, it's not going to go through everything. Literally, it's going to hit the first target, extend to the second target, stun, finish. Um, so naturally, what you want to do with this is you want to try and chain it on the support early game. Yes, the support, but why not the 80 carry? Because, say they're playing a Leona. Now the tricks... Tricks and tips against Leona specifically is you want to poke her down so that she can't engage. Because, you know, when you give a woman a penis, she goes ham. When you give a guy a second penis, that's when she gets hurt. You know, you gotta understand that in lane, as Bard, you have to focus the primary target. An AD carry, sure, is a primary target. But let's see who's a primary target and who's not a primary target in terms of marksmen, based on what they do. Now, uh, I'll go through the list of the AD carries actually played. Now, Vayne, you want to get rid of Vayne as fast as possible. But Vayne is often played with Janna, with Nami, with Sona, you know, with those very squishy supports. And since you have a lot of penetration on your rune page and you build AP on Bard, you can easily get rid of the support faster than you get rid of Vayne. And see, Vayne is going to be scared to go in, because you're going to have an AD carry who has health relics, because Bard is a healing support. Let's keep that in mind. And there are two ways to build Bard. There's offensive Bard and defensive Bard. And then there's Chime Bard, but let's not get into that. Then. That'll get you reported, and that is not a good thing. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, Vayne, Vayne is not a threat. Kagma is not a threat. Callista is a threat. Get rid of her at once. Gotta, gotta beat the shit out of it. Now, this is a basic bard guide in terms of who to focus and how to build. The, the how to build part is going to come a little later, of course. Right, Jinx has no mobility. If you have an AD carry that has mobility, Lucian, Corky, um, Misfortune, Quinn, um, you know, just about anyone with a fucking dash or anyone with a fucking jump or anyone with fucking damage. Kill, 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 kill that bitch. Just, 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 you know, do like the Fischio says in EULCS. Well, you know what you do to a Jinx? You kill her, and you kill her so hard until you kill her again, man. You gotta shoot her face. Shoot her face until she just fucking dies. There you go. Now, Grace, this guy's a little wonky. He's not really played often. That dude's like, I don't know, he's like a half tank with like AOE CC. That, that, it's just, it, I, I don't know. Question mark. Kindred, jungler, never played. Um, Ezreal, rarely played. Um, Draven, focus at once. Like, in all Draven lanes, kill Draven before he kills you, because as soon as Draven gets one kill, Draven snowballs. Corky, I'm not too sure how Corky works in this new meta, considering that Corky is pretty weird. Uh, does that mean he's free to play? Oh yeah, the icon means free to play. Yep. Uh, Caitlyn is a threat, but be careful of the traps, because Bard is really squishy early on, even though you have Resistances, health, and penetration, you are squishy early. Ash, rarely seen. Lucian, pretty strong. Be careful though, I think it hurts. Misfortune, hurts even more than Lucian. Quinn, hurts more than Misfortune. Sever, eh. Timo, most likely a troll matchup if you get matched up with Timo by lane. Uh, Tristana, I see her too often. Just, the thing with Tristana is if you get hit by the bomb, 
right? And it's detonating. Move away from your AD carry. Don't stick on him like fucking bubblegum. Twitch, rarely played Urgot. It's not Season 2. Varus, Season 2. In vain. Yeah, we already covered that. So in terms in terms of supports that you want to play against. Now, Braum is really good to play against as Bard. Let's see why. Sure, Braum has an engage. Braum has a shield. Braum has this, Braum has that. But he's melee. Now this is why Bard exceeds. Because Bard can easily chain CC as the melee supports will always be closer to 80 carries than the range supports will. Because the range supports need more positioning based focus while the melee supports can literally hug their AD carries while raping enemy AD carries. And that's what's fun about it. So you can poke you can poke Braum and if anything ult him during his old GG uh, cooldowns motherfucker Jana very annoying high shield squishy focus her in lane kill her easy piece Lulu, rarely seen by lane. Nami, <laughs> eh, she has a heal, she can engage, if anything, just try and stun when she lands a bubble, if not, just play passively. Sona, kill Sona, Soraka, focus Soraka, Tom Kench, ignore the guy, the, the, the dude is a god at being a god. So, in the bot lane, he is like, one of the most banned champions in the game, for the reason being that the dude can't die, the dude gains movement speed when he runs away, with an ally in his belly. Uh, Tarek's never seen play, uh, but to get back to Tom Kench, is you never want to focus Tom Kench. You want to just ignore Kench. Try and dodge his, uh, his Tongue Lash. Try and dodge his Devour if he's spitting a minion at you. Just, just overall, just ignore him, and then, if he ever has the 1v2, just kill him. Fresh, very annoying to lay, to play against Bard. It's, it's skill shot based. Basically, what you can do is you can try and juke. The hook, the, the, the flay hook or hook flay or the, the, the wombo that's coming, but it's pretty dangerous. Zillion, rarely seen. So now in terms of runes, th this is the ideal Bardian rune page. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Bard has a lot of mana problems, but it's not to the point where you run out of mana after one spell. You can do a lot of spells in a row and a row and a row, but Bard has low mana regen rate. And even though items are really good at resulting in mana regen so you want you want a bit more out of what you have so you're gonna go with three glyphs of scaling mana regen just because then it gives you the 3.6 which is pretty good uh, 3.6 mana regen at level 18 is really a lot and low elo games of which I'm in they tend they tend to go for long so you want you want to maximize the advantage you're gonna get and besides, this helps your passive even more, because even though your max mana, if this doesn't increase your max mana, this will help you get back in lane, do more roams, do more stuff. Naturally, you take a bit of magic resist just against all supports. They're all they're all AP. There's no such thing as an AD support. It's never existed. They're called bruiser bot laners. And their name's Pantheon, fucking Rengar, and like sometimes even Fiora if you want to be a dick. You go Armor Coins just because Armor Coins give you four more armor than Armor Seals. While Health Coins do a lot more than Health Seals, you know, you gotta compensate somewhere. And the Health Seals are really good because with well, 72 health and 72 health, it's decent. But the, 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 the creme de la creme of this build is this. Is the hybrid pen. Now, arguably, you can change, if you want to be the, like the aggressive bard, you can replace the magic resist with magic pen, and the quince with hybrid pen. So you could go like literally full YOLO with a bit of armor or something, or health. But it's not really recommended. In terms of masteries, I don't really have, I don't have a second bard page. Uh, do, 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 do. I call it chimes. Now here's the reason why. See, because Bard, Bard doesn't scale well off AP. He scales well off penetration. So there's no need for you to... Yeah, my bad. Yeah, there's no need for you to actually have... Um, actually go natural talent, or sorcery, or uh, piercing thoughts. Because piercing thoughts and battering blows is not really good compared to precision. And now, see... If you're a ranged auto attacker, right, but you have on hit procs, uh, on hit procs that are magic, like let's say a Kali, um, Braum, uh, yeah, Braum, Bard, 
Sona, Leona. Um, you're gonna want you're gonna want precision because precision gives you armor pen per level and magic resist magic penetration per level. Now the magic resist, magic pen may not seem like a lot because there are there are like much more uh, AP pen items and there are AD pen items. Um, so that's why the compensation. Because you can build armor a lot easier, well, with with more ease, then you can build uh, magic resist. Now the reasoning why uh, that is is because the highest armor arm uh, a, a, AD anti AD item that gives you armor is a thorn mail. It gives you a hundred armor, so you can build six of those. Technically, theoretically, that's six hundred bonus armor, right? With magic resist. I think I think the highest is 300. If you were to build six items, it'd be 300 magic resist would be getting out. But anyways, building duplicate items is never really worth it because League of Legends is all about potential, and you're wasting that potential if you do something wrong. Now you could argue meditation is better than merciless, but is it a five percent damage increase to champions below 40 percent health. Naturally, AD carries don't have life steal early on. Supports neither. So you know, the yeah, meditation's good. But I'd say it's more on the Roaming Bard. The Roaming Bard would also um, have different masteries. Yes, he'd have Wind Speaker's Blessing. He'd have, yeah, basically. He'd have Wind Speaker's Blessing and Intelligence. Also, he'd go, he'd go Wanderer with, you know, Wanderer and Explorer instead of Tuscan. So this basically this 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 mastery page basically covers everything. That I wanted to say. Uh regarding item sets. Oh, yeah, screwed up my video. Shit. Hmm. I'll have to crop the video. Other than that, um, four builds as a support. Uh, support. Okay. So naturally, you have three ways to go support. Uh, four ways. You have the tank, the speed, the peel, and the annoying supports. Uh, so let me tell you why that some of these builds are wrong. Um, you can replace, uh, often you can replace the Moby boots by uh, Ionian boots because now they give you um, CDR on your summoner spells. Which is really good. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find it. The staff of flowing water. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's only available on Dominion. I bet. Yep. It's a Dominion item. All right. Um, let's see, where is it? Boots, 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 cooldown boots, where are the cooldown boots? I only need, yeah, 10% summoner spell CDR. Now that is really good, because, you know, that with distortion, with the, the other mastery or whatever, really helps out a lot. So the generic, the generic bard build is, you're gonna take the support item, you're gonna make it the, uh, Frostbeam Flame. Then you're gonna go, you're gonna go boots, obviously, sight stone, then naturally, you can get one of the above. Um, the Wretch's Glory is really good because it gives you movement speed. If you're an engaging bard or a bard that does a lot of things regarding stuff, uh, re regarding engaging and disengaging and shit, the Wretch's Glory is really good. Um, the Mikael's uh, is really good if there's a set on the team, if there's someone you want to protect on the team. Uh, Frozen Heart, just naturally good on bard, 20% CDR, 400 mana, um, 90 armor. Light of the Iron Solari, same thing, it's magic to this instead of armor. Um, yeah, so basically, you know, this covers most of my generic bard guide in terms of items, masteries, and rune page. In terms of how you want to play the lane with um, skills, um, I'll make a different video on that because I want to get a bit of gameplay footage with bots just to show different things you can do with bra with Bard. So have a good day on that note, guys. Take care.